Every sports team has their own rituals or traditions. Some have been a part of a program for decades, while others vary from year to year. The UConn women have two traditions we wanted to learn more about. One is pretty obvious to UConn fans. The other, not so much. Being the top program in America, the UConn women have clearly created a winning environment. Along with that winning comes traditions. Some are more obvious than others. If you're a fan of the Huskies, this sight should look familiar. A UConn three-pointer is made, and that results in a player on the bench going down the line giving high fives. The ritual has been going on for years, but when exactly did it start? Um, from what I know, that was already here. I don't know who started it. I don't know. I think it just kind of gets the gets all the players excited and kind of brings the energy to our team. So I think it, it, it's really good. Especially if you're on the bench, maybe you're there, someone hits a three. Then when you go in, you're like more excited and you have a lot more energy to start. When I first came here, it was Heather. Always did it, you know, and. Um, it started off, it used to be a bit more dramatic or enthusiastic, but CD has calmed it down a bit. Polly's been doing a great job with it though this year. Heather was always the best though, I gotta say. Another ritual that occurs happens at the beginning of practice when Coach Oriema addresses his team. Let me start it today. <laughs> Honestly, I have no idea where it came from. I, it was the thing like when I was here when I was freshman last year. It was like you just have to like touch the person next to you. So like you get to pick wherever you want to, whatever design or whatever you want to do, but you just have to do it. I don't know what it means, but that's what I was told. It was here when I got here. I think the kind of idea is making sure everyone's connected in the circle and making sure everyone's kind of paying attention. And I don't know, I think it's, it's kind of fun. And I don't know, we, we just enjoy it. And I don't know who started it, but... When I got here, we always did it, and if you don't do it, it's like a big deal. <laughs> it's just a thing to kind of uh, make sure our team is connected. Uh, Morgan starts it, and then we each kind of do our little thing, and uh, you stay in the same spot every year. You got to mix it up with what people do. You know, I kind of flick the key with my pinky, uh, and it just kind of shows that we're connected, and we start off the practice, you know, as one and as, as a whole. While it's clear the players have embraced the long-standing tradition, their head coach doesn't exactly share the same enthusiasm. That's stupid, too. And I don't know where that started. Um, I have no idea who started it. I'm aware of it, and I see it. And every day, some days I just don't even want to talk to them because I'm tired of looking at that nonsense. So CD goes, you want to talk to them? I said, no, I don't feel like it, too. And I see it, and I know they're doing it. And as I'm talking, my inner voice is saying, this has really got to be the dumbest thing I've ever seen. But I'm not going to stop it. A lot of those things, our players, Chris, and the coaches, they pay a lot of attention to and they care a lot about. So God bless them.